Hello there. Back for day two of 100 Days to Brave, the book that's by Annie F. Downs. And again, it's just a compilation of daily devotionals. And the um, point of the book is, again, just to read, to be encouraged, to be strengthened, to help to develop and evolve into being our most brave and courageous um, selves, you know, get closer to God and just build up a bit more confidence and just realize all the potential that we have within um you can definitely check back over my other videos because i am going to do this for the full 100 days committing to finish it the book i didn't do that last year i started it and i only read up to day seven and i should have definitely been done with it but anyway today is day two of 100 days to brave as i said in the um in reading through the intro and everything on day one it's a good idea to, number one, you can get the book for yourself, or if not, just follow along because I am literally going to read whatever the devotion is every day as well as the call to action and also whatever the point that is being emphasized that day. Um, it's suggested that you have a journal so you can write your notes as you go along, so I do have a journal also. Um, you can do the same, and as I read, you can always go back and listen to it once again. Um, you can buy the book, of course, yourself and follow along um, as I read. I ordered it from Amazon. I forgot how much it costs. Uh, the back of the book, book has it priced at $21. I don't think I paid $21. I'm not sure. But anyway, Amazon.com or just go to your local library and check it out or any bookstore. All right, let's get into day two of 100 Days to Brave. Day two. Why be brave? We can only keep on going, after all, by the power of God, who first saved us and then called us to this holy work. We had nothing to do with it. It was all his idea, a gift prepared for us in Jesus long before we knew anything about it, but we know it now. And that's the scripture from Second Timothy chapter 1 verses 8 through 9, and that was from the message translation. I got to travel to Honolulu, Hawaii, to speak at a conference. One afternoon, I walked into the Kahlua Starbucks to write for a bit and saw zero tables available. I didn't really have a plan B for where to write, so I got in line for my drink anyway. A table opened up and between a vacationing couple and three tan and adorable surfer dudes. The surfers were talking about their marriages, so I tuned out because, you know, they had wives already. Hmm. I began to unpack, and just because of proximity, the tables were close, y'all. I couldn't help but check back into their conversation, and I heard them talking about absolute truth and how God is the only thing that is absolute. And suddenly, I realized I was watching two of them share their stories of Jesus with the third. My heart began to race. That conversation takes courage. Sharing your story takes guts. I know. Maybe you think I'm being dramatic, but listen. That guy, hearing how Jesus is the answer, his life is forever different, and his future is forever altered because those two surfers were brave enough to say the things about Jesus that they knew to be true. Seeing other people be brave makes me want to be brave too. It's a domino effect. I felt it in me as I listened to them, the want to share my story. That's why you'll see rational adults going down a loop-de-loop -loop water slide even if they don't want to because they want to show their kids it isn't scary. That's why we have to start. That's why we have to go first. That's why we have to be brave, so that others will be inspired to be brave along with us. We can be brave because we were always meant to be brave. It is scary to be who you are meant to be. It doesn't feel easy because it's not. But we were made for this. Like today's scripture says, we have holy work. Why be brave? 
because when we're brave enough to share the God stories in our lives, it changes the people around us. It changes us to share them. The call to action today for Be Brave says, and let me flip the camera around so you can see it as well. Our call to action, be brave. Think back on your day. Where can you see God working on your behalf or just showing up for you? Tell somebody. And then the point that they brought out again again was seeing other people be brave makes me want to be brave too so there we have day two and being brave thinking back in your day where can you see God working on your behalf or just showing up for you and to tell somebody gosh I'll probably have to think about that um Again, I've already completed my work day today, and I'm, you know, reading the book later on into the evening. Not totally bedtime yet, but definitely evening. Um, you know, it was a normal, regular, busy day, but I think for me, I look at God showing up for me every day, just as I'm able to uh, get through my day, you know, some days. Again, some days are tougher than others because I still deal with the... You know, loss of my husband. Yes, it's been four years, but some days it's not easy. And um, I'm just grateful for God showing up, allowing me to be able to accomplish the tasks that I had to do at work. You know, sometimes our jobs are challenging and we have to um, complete tasks, get things done, um, have things accomplished. And sometimes it's not always easy when we're waiting or needing the input of others. So for me today, I, I would have to say... God working on my behalf is probably um, extending enough grace to me and allowing me to also extend that grace to others. Uh, again, sometimes work is challenging. <laughs> and I'm always attempting to do my very best to um, be kind and to be mindful because we never know what the next person is going through. So sometime when you want to, for me, um, not that I would ever lash out or be cruel or whatever, but sometimes it's just that little reminder to just pull it back a little bit and um, share a little grace. So for me, um, just remembering the, the grace God has blessed me with, and I definitely attempt to do the same thing as I deal with people every day. So um, that's what I'm able to tell you guys to today. Again, the, what, what I believe, how God has shown up for me. And that's something that's not just for today, but for every day. And again, with the subject being of why be brave, because we were meant to be, we were built to be brave. We're, we're tough. God has our back and we can um, go forward in confidence. And I know that's not always easy. Um, I know it hasn't always been easy for me just to go forward and to be confident in things that I'm doing, uh, being confident that I'm able to accomplish certain things, being confident that um, I can maneuver this life as a widow but I can and whatever challenges you may be facing <laughs> you can um, accomplish it and have good success and be brave and even in dealing with the emotions that we feel or feeling inadequate we just build up on our most holy faith. We continue to lean on God, to trust God that he's going to make a way. And all in all, he does, you know, so <clears throat> that's a part of this whole 100 day journey, just coming to realize that <laughs> we can do it. So again, that was day two. Leave comments. Let's, let's have a discussion. Um, look over the other days. We're only day two. We got 98 more days to go. I am grateful for you guys um, going on the journey with me. So together, not only will I become my best self, hopefully you will too. Because it's not just about me. I want to bring somebody along with me. So I am so very grateful for those of you that watch the video. Leave comments. Let's talk. I will do my best to... Um, respond to any comments i have my um, own email address down here as well as well as my website my website is all about um my um business i'm a health and wellness brand ambassador with it works so 
my website that's within the description box. It's all about my product stuff. But there's also um, a link there where you can email me and I'll get that as well or just directly to my email address. So feel free, reach out. Let's let's talk as we continue on our 100 Days to Brave. <laughs> That's day two in the books for us. So I'll be back tomorrow with day three. Thanks so much for watching. Until tomorrow, peace.